Hello everybody coming at you with all my might is smite and we are going to do a walk around video. This is a 2001 Honda XR 400R. It has a 397 uh, yeah, cubic, inch, cubic centimeter motor and I have installed an aftermarket Makuni pumper carb on there that really wakes it up. If you have one of these bikes and do not have that carburetor, I highly suggest getting it. I had put on a aftermarket skid plate also, and other than that, well, I removed the spark arrestor that, just for just for fun. Other than that, it is mostly stock. Well, now, what's the story about how you acquired such a fine piece well, of equipment? I was looking for my, I was looking for another bike. I had an XR200, and we were out riding one day, and I was going up over a hill climb and I couldn't get the thing to downshift so I figured it was about time for a new bike it was getting too small for me anyhow and I came across this one what used to be Bob Lowe's well it is now Williamsport Honda they had it down there and it was brand new a brand new 2001 and uh, that was two years ago so we ended up buying it and I'm the first owner of it the first owner that is amazing don't you think guys all right well obviously we can see another bike in the background let's talk about that one all right that is a 1998 honda xr 400r that has been converted over so it can be street legal it has a street legal title i just need to put turn signals on it and a high low beam indicator to get it inspected that has oh, quite a few aftermarket parts it's got the skid plate just like uh, my other bike and then it also has an aluminum chain guard and uh, aluminum rear discard. Mm. And you bought this just a few days ago, right? Yep, just a couple days ago. It was down in Altoona, Pennsylvania, down past there. It was Hastings in Hastings. And uh, the guy that I bought it off of, he traveled clear up to Michigan to get it. So, is there any difference between this bike and the other bike being though they're not that far apart just the colors of them pretty much now I think they did a little a little work uh, between years on the carburetors but I'm not 100% sure on that then you say this one sits a little bit higher has a yeah, custom shock yeah, on it or yeah, something? I forgot to mention that the, uh, the guy up in Michigan the as far as I know I'm the fourth owner of this bike now the very first owner he was a little bit heavier and he went through and had a heavier spring installed on the back of it, and then he went through and put heavier springs in the front, also. So it sits up a little. It sits up probably about an inch, inch and a half other, taller than my other bike, and it. I, I like the ride on it a lot better. I think it's a lot more comfortable. Well, that's pretty awesome. So there we have it, Big Dalt's collection of XRs. Yeah, I've had uh, several people in the last video. Just to be clear, that re it's not my bike. <laughs> I've had a few people feel comment that saying, you know, like, no, no, it's not my bike. <laughs> it's Big Yaltz. He's got the collection of XRs going on. He's going to have a Honda Museum pretty soon here, I think. Anything else you would like to add to your collection of bikes or not? Collection of bikes? Or collection of bikes, yeah. I I'd really like to get an XR600. I'd like to get one of those that are street legal, but they're a little bit harder to come by than these are. Most of those are out west. So that's it. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Have a nice day and God bless.